Hi everyone, you're with Art Shed Angel and today I'm going to be doing a Gustav Klimt style page. So I hope you want to join me and have a look at my page. It's going to be lots and lots of fun. So join me now. Okay, Gustav Klimt did some really beautiful work which not was not unlike what we do in art journaling. The first thing I'd like to say is please subscribe to my page if you like it and you can also join us at Live Art Journaling and Self Development. So the picture I have, I have traced onto this piece of mixed media um, paper and I'm going to first prepare the background. So gold can be very transparent and I'm going to be using quite a bit of gold. So I'm putting raw sienna behind it. If you don't have raw sienna, you can use orange or any um, kind of yellows and things like that. It just gives it a better body and you'll see when we apply the gold that it will be really, really nice and um, much more solid. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out my picture because I want to be able to do some stuff with her. So I'm just going to cut her out with a craft knife. Isn't the Tim Holtz um, media mat great? It's just lovely to cut on. So just cutting her out. And once she's cut out, we're going to add the gold to the page as it's dried. And you can see here how rich it looks when you add gold over the top of a colour. It's just so much nicer than plain gold. Okay, so now we're going to do, this is the sort of activity where we're going to do lots of swapping around. So I have this um, stencil and I'm going to use modelling paste with the stencil. And I just use a plain white modelling paste and I mix a colour in it with it. And the reason I'm mixing a colour in with this modelling paste is that when I paint the gold over again, we'll end up with a little bit of a two-tone effect. So I'm just putting a bit of burnt sienna in there, but you could put green or red or any colour you like. It's just to give it that extra level that Gustav Klimt gets in his work. And I'm just putting it on with a palette knife and I'm not even worrying too much if I get little smudges here and there. Now this needs to dry so put that aside to dry and now we're going to work back on our page which is nice and dry and you can see it's so beautiful and shiny. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, stencil and just do a bit of sponging or brushing of white gesso. Now it could just be white paint but I've used gesso in this case. And I'm doing this because there's going to be areas where I want to do swirls and things like that that I don't want the gold to be behind. He had lots of levels to his work and what we're doing here is we're creating some of those levels. I'm just using the stencil to create some patterns. Okay, you can see how beautiful and shiny this gold is and with the white over the top of it, you've got some really nice matte effects. So the next thing that we're going to do is I've got these little coloured squares and we're going to decorate some squares. So you could use any bits of coloured paper you have and you can see I'm just doing some mark making. I have collected together for this activity all my metallic pens. So I've got um, like metallic Sharpies and things like that. That was a white Signo Broad that I've used and um, it makes really nice opaque sort of marks on those little squares. So they work really well. The next thing I'm going to use is I'm going to use a Primo a gold marker and that works really well because it's very, very shiny gold. I'll put the link to those pens also in the bottom. So I'm just going to edge these little squares with this really, really bright gold. You can see how bright it is. It's beautiful. So I'm edging the squares that I want to use with this gold pen and then I'm going to glue them down. Okay, so edge them, they look fabulous. 
Now Klimt had lots of different layers in his paintings and what we're going to do here is create it with the little squares and the textures and the mediums and things like that. Now before I do my sticking I'm just going to put the girl there just to get an idea of where they need to be and I'm just gluing down with gel medium but you could use any kind of glue here to glue them down. And just sort of move them around till you're happy with where they are. I kind of didn't like the colours all too close together. And I really like the jewel colours, like they have the colours of jewels. Okay, so now I've placed them on. I'm going to paint the gold over her skirt. So I'm just using the same gold again. And I will put the link to this gold. This is a gold from Robinson and Company. And it's a beautiful pot of gold. You can get them in smaller containers too. And you can see then, it, when you lift it, you can actually see the difference. And as it dries, you'll see that colour behind will show up. So that's the gold and we need to let that dry. And then we're going to place it over her over the top. I can see some of my squares are not exactly in the right place so I'm just going to move them so that I can see her. She's also a little bit too far to the left for me so I'm going to, um, after I dry her off, I'm going to cut her down slightly to make sure that she fits. Keep the little bits and pieces you cut off because you can use them in other projects. Okay. So I'm going to glue, glue her there and again I'm just going to use gel matte medium to glue her down. Again, any glue that you prefer to use will work. Okay, now she's stuck down and she looks really great there. We're going to start decorating. So one of the great things about Klimt is that um, he used gold in lots of different um, sort of with different effects. So what we're going to do here is we're going to mix a little bit of magenta or pink into our gold. So gold you, with gold you can mix green and blue and pink and all different colours and you still have a, a gold but a slightly different tinted gold. So I'm going to do some mark making just like Klimt on her dress here with this lovely rosy gold colour. And because in art we should take a pattern somewhere else, I'm also going to use that pink in a couple of different places to create patterns. And this is when we start to do that lovely journaling kind of mark making. And I'm just painting her hair in black here. He didn't do a lot of detail in things like hair, so I'm just going to paint it black. All right, now with my Signo pen, I'm just going to start doing um, marks. I'm just doing little bubbles or circles or swirls. And I'm doing that in the white area because I really liked that sort of white. And you can see it almost goes like a wave across the page. So remember when you're doing mark making to make sure that you actually do the same marks in different places. Also your colours because what we have is we want the eye to travel around the page because you've done those colours in more than one place. Okay. So here I am just using, this is a green Signo, it's a metallic Signo, and I'm also using a pink Signo um, and also a couple of different other colours. So again, I think I need something here. It's a bit bare there, so I'm going to add a square, but I'm going to just tuck it under her arm a little bit. And I'm going to add another square. And you can see how the squares now sort of sort of um, make a trail. The squares and the circles make a trail up to her face. And that's what we want to do. We want to make people's eye travel around the page so that they can see um, that they're going to her first. Now I'm using this gold Primo and I'm going over the patterns that we did with the stencil and adding little dots and things because I want to have more than one level of gold. And you can see that gold's far brighter than the gold we painted and so it really gives it a nice almost jacquard effect. This gold's great also again mark making in different places. 
You can see there it's really starting to come together. Doing some tracing of some of the little squares, some little dots, layering the gold and also taking some black into it. It's okay to bring some black, some black swirls and things like that into it. Now I'm going to use my stencil and I'm going to stencil gel medium again. But with the stencil and the gel medium, I'm actually going to put down some foil. And this is just the foil that sticks on. So with the foil, I'm just stenciling some squares. And then I'm going to stick the foil over the top. Okay, so just take your time doing this. Um, make sure that they're quite neat. And then I'm going to just chop up this piece of foil and cover it. Now foil takes a little while to dry, um, the glue to dry, so you need to take your time. So either put this away to dry or do what I'm going to do now and I'm going to work on her face and that while I'm waiting for the foil to dry. Okay, so while this is drying, I'm going to take some white some raw sienna and some magenta and I'm going to mix them together to make a flesh colour. So you'll see here I'm just taking the tiniest bits and I'm going to paint over the top of her so that she has a little bit of colour. Now in this one here I'm not going to go to lots of detail with her and I'm painting over the lines because, but it's transparent so I'm going to be able to see and get back to um, add the lines back into it. So make sure you don't make your paint that thick that it's not transparent. And for some shadows I'm just doing the same mix but I'm doing it darker. I'm just doing some shadows behind her arm and under her arm. Use your fingers to blend some of this in too. Oops, I just knocked that foil off. <laughs> so there's only a little bit of foil stuck there. I'm using some pencils to add some detail as well. So you can use coloured pencils. Um, you can use um, even felt pens over the top of some acrylic. Those really ruby red lips are important. And I've used a bit of watercolour pencil there just to give a bit of shadow. Now when I pull my foil off, you'll see that I have that beautiful metallic foil there. It didn't work in the top left hand corner because it dropped off earlier, so I've just used my gold pen again to add that detail. And now I'm going to use a metallic rusty colour and I'm going to rub it around the outside. Colouring and darkening the outside makes us look into the picture. So you can see the difference just, just doing that is. Then I'm taking my black fine liner and I'm just going to outline her. So do all your outlining and you can see that she's starting to pop now with the outliners. Adding more mark making. I'm doing some dots here in, in a uh, metallic purple pen. This one's just from Hobbycraft in England. I'm sure you've got it in, in lots of different places. So I'm just doing, as I go along, I'm just getting my pens and I just look at an area and I think, what can I do here? So I, I do some um, tracing of the squares, some little dots in them. Now I'm rubbing some um, oil markers on in a blue. It's nice to use your fingers over the textures. It's a really good feeling. So here I have used a gold, um, sorry, a black um, pen and I have just outlined it and then taken my brush and wet it down 
just so that I have a little bit of a thicker line. You could use a charcoal pencil here as well. But you can see how just by adding that little bit of darkness, she pops out just that little bit more again. Okay, and we just continue now. I'm just doing some highlights on her face. So this is a great project for you to do when you just want to keep adding little bits here and there to um, add to it. You could pretty much go for quite some time. I'm doing all the mark making I repeat in different places. It's really quite an enjoyable project when you're actually adding those little bits. And here I am again, adding a little bit more of that colour into the skirt. So by putting um, my finger over the top of the um, crayon, the um, oil pastel, I can take a little bit and just rub it on. Again here I'm adding that little bit more darkness. Just want to blend her hair a little bit into her face. Okay, so you can see now that um, look at all those colours and shimmery colours. This is such a fun project to do. You, do. you can get such a beautiful result. So if you like my page and you would like to um, join us this i do these live videos on live art journaling and self-development so there will be a link below also please make sure you subscribe and press that little bell so you get notifications i really love doing creative projects and i'd love you to join us so you know if you would like to do some more please join us thank you so much it's lucy from art shed angel bye